So altogether a positive feel on this motorcycle. So if you ask me if I have to buy this motorcycle, what are changes I'll do? Only one thing is What's up YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we have the Royal Enfield Continental GT One of my favorite motorcycles in the Royal Enfield fleet So yes, have this motorcycle for a few days and today Out on the highway to shoot this review and have to say that I'm just loving it There are few reasons for that Because personally I feel Continental GT 650 is an underrated motorcycle Because this is more fun to ride And the riding portion, the ergonomics, everything Actually is more committed towards the 650cc engine And it just gives the kick Today morning actually we were cruising on two bikes one on this one and the other we had a street wind so a lot of torque today so we were enjoying that dark moderate traffic on the highway and the torque was really really nice and it's fun to ride let's get into those part a little later so this is the pine green version of the gt650 and likewise yes it looks very cool personally i like the single seat version of the gt650 but this one is kind of okay but yeah the single seat version has a different kick and yeah it comes with a normal halogen lamp actually it's quite functional i really loved it you can see the spoke wheels with a fatter kind of tire profile and coming out of this side you have the humongous 650 cc engine and coming on to this side we have the typical 650 cc exhaust which is shining over there the highlight of this motorcycle is where you sit on the motorcycle when compared to the handlebar so the tank is long so you sit a little backwards it gives you a slightly the actual cafe racer feel so the motorcycle is actually a little heavy it's a bit heavy machine uh, not too tall you can see that but the reach towards the handlebar is different so if this is my normal riding stance i had to put a little more lean angle so that i get the handlebar and it looks really nice from this angle as well so to walk you through all the switches on the handlebar we have all basic things here here you have the pass switch high beam and low beam indicator horn on the side engine kill switch and the ignition that's all and when we turn on the dial this is the same dash that we saw in the bs4 version as well again basic things speedometer tachometer fuel level indicator odometer two trip meters that's all so nothing fancy it keeps a classy look but i personally feel that instrument cluster could have packed a little more details like the distance to empty a heat level indicator and those things so without wasting much time let's go for the ride quite a talky and punchy motorcycle so the engine of this motorcycle is basically designed for a nice low end and mid range experience basically it's a two cylinder motorcycle 650 cc so these two cylinders are known for their torque especially when you have a humongous cc on the highways 120 is just a piece of cake for this motorcycle i was cruising at 120 to 140 comfortably and uh, this motorcycle actually gives a lot of confidence while riding at that speed as well because that is not the saturated speed on the motorcycle even when you're going at 120 or 140 you have good power for the overtakes as well so as i mentioned it's a slightly sporty motorcycle the cafe racer feel you have a slightly raised foot peg a lean angle to the upper body and one thing what you notice when you ride this motorcycle is it's a bit heavy the cafe races are in general made to make motorcycles more faster for a race uh, but this one is slightly heavy it's a bit more than 200 kgs but certainly this weight is adding a lot of confidence to the riding so let's look at the other things on this motorcycle so basically this comes with disc brakes it is absolutely doing a wonderful job because again the motorcycle is little onto a heavier side and uh, combinedly with the front and the rear brake the braking confidence is good and when it comes to suspension i have to say that it's slightly towards the softer side it's giving ample comfort on the broken roads and when it comes to the tires i feel that uh, royal enfield could have given a little better tire on this motorcycle because the bike is much stable but the thing is when you go through these white lines or the indicators on those white lines uh, i feel a little bit of wobbling issue but i basically feel it's completely because of the tires nothing to do with the motorcycle so i've got this feedback from other owners as well so once you change the tire to a better tire you won't be having those kind of wobbling issues and yes of course the straight line stability is nice even the cornering stability is nice i was able to do nice corners only one thing is i have a feeling inside my mind that if there was a better rubber on this motorcycle definitely uh, we'll be able to do better things because i've seen the gt cup where people doing crazy lean angles on this motorcycle 
so definitely a better rubber will be making a day and light difference on the motorcycle so the seating is little different when we compare with other motorcycles it's a longer seat so we have room to push back and sit and get that sporty riding stance and the seat is actually comfortable i was able to continuously ride uh, 200 to 50 km in one go no issues one thing is like it's a sports kind of a motorcycle so you put a little more pressure onto your hands or you put a little pressure onto your thighs to grab the fuel tank so in that sense uh, you won't be putting that much of pressure on the seat so thinking in that perspective the rider's triangle actually makes it a little more comfortable to sit longer on this motorcycle yes of course you should love sports riding for that if you're someone who's interested in upright riding then interceptor is an obvious choice and to look on the other things on this motorcycle basically uh, the headlight of this motorcycle is a halogen unit i have seen people making a lot of comments saying that this doesn't get a, a led unit and all but honestly i have to say that uh, the throw of the satellite is good i really didn't face any issues the throw is good that's decent it's much better than many other motorcycles in the segment which comes with led lights so i have no complaints about it if you are thinking from a looks point of view then yeah it might be a deal breaker for you but from a work point of view it's absolute bliss oh we have an open road here confidence that you get out of this motorcycle on the straight line is impeccable that's one reason i really didn't hate the weight of this motorcycle you might have seen the motorcycle that had didn't had any wobbling issues it was completely blended uh, yeah <laughs> truly i have to say that i didn't like the tires but with the tires it could have done wonders uh, i think i've done some 160 plus km per hour speed and it was completely confident i really didn't had any confidence issues based on the weight of the motorcycle or suspension or brakes it's absolutely fine and uh, when it comes to the clutch and the gearbox the clutch is onto a moderately lighter side it's easy to use inside city it is not the lightest but it's kind of okay livable and the clutch play is short so again you don't have to put too much of energy onto it to, uh, to shift the gears and the gearbox is also nice it is what you have seen with all other enfields but i didn't had any false neutrals or any other problems like that until now it was working fine and if you ask me if i faced any heating issues on this motorcycle yeah a slight amount of heating from the engine side and it comes to this portion of the leg and one more thing is like i don't know whether you are able to see this so there is something like this over here so what it does is like that actually stops your leg from going and touching the engine so on this motorcycle actually we tend to grab the fuel tank with the thighs and uh, we might end up touching the engine with the knees so this thing is over here and uh, that will stop you in touching but still i can feel the heat and uh, from a uh, safety point of view i feel it's better to have something solid over there than a wide structure and coming on to the ownership aspects uh, this motorcycle actually comes on road this particular color actually comes on road for around 3 lakh 80 thousand and based on the colors the price can go uh, till 4 lakh 7 thousand and there's a beautiful color variant for this which is called the mr clean so it's a complete chrome variant of it i don't know how hard it is to maintain that but that's an absolute great looking motorcycle that one with a single seat will be next level and to talk about the other ownership aspects this motorcycle actually goes to service once in 10,000 kilometers obviously the first service will be done in uh, 1,000 kilometers and from then once in 10,000 kilometers and each service will cost you something like uh, 2,500 to 3,000 rupees including the oil change and when it comes to the mileage generally owners are getting a mileage of uh, 18 to 20 inside city and from 20 to 22 out on a highway so yeah let's come to the verdict does this motorcycle fits you is this a motorcycle which you should buy so if you're someone who wanted to have a sporty riding feel the proper cafe racing feel with ample amount of power i'll say that the gt650 is for you so basically the gt is a cafe racer so uh, it's not a highway tourer completely you can tour on this motorcycle only one thing is like you have to get used to the sporty riding stands even with the sporty riding stands i believe that you will be able to tour on this motorcycle no issues with it the comfortable speed is 120 to 140 you'll be able to travel a lot but the fun part of it is when you have a moderate traffic highway or when you are riding inside city that initial punch you see that it's really nice to maneuver this motorcycle that's one nice thing which i like so that instant acceleration and direction changes is what the rider will be liking and uh, if you're looking for a motorcycle which is very good for cornering you can buy this motorcycle with a better tire 
compared to the other motorcycles in the price segment this is little heavy so you have to put in a little more energy to change directions that's all otherwise a beautiful motorcycle for corners as well and when it comes to off roads i really don't suggest it because you have to put a lot of energy to maneuver this motorcycle because it's slightly sporty a bit heavy and going off road is not a great idea so altogether a positive feel on this motorcycle so if you ask me if i have to buy this motorcycle what are changes i'll do only one thing is change the seating to a single seat which gives a better looks and of course i'll be removing the pillion grab rail the sari guard and those unnecessary steps which actually adds weight to the motorcycle and yes of course i'll be going for a sticky track tire and that's it the rest of the motorcycle can be stock and i'll be loving it no doubt on that so that's my review on the continental gt650 uh, honestly i felt bad when the gt535 was discontinued but now i feel good uh, when the 650 is launched with this gt but it's highly underrated i have rarely seen this motorcycle on road most of the people goes for an interceptor so if you are someone who are confused between interceptor and gt650 the one simple solution is just go for a test ride you'll be able to clear all your doubt in the first few kilometers itself so just go to any royal enfield showroom and take a take test ride on both the motorcycles at least for 5 kilometers inside city sometimes you might be a person who wanted to sit back and enjoy the power or some you are someone who wanted to do this so that's it that's the review of the gt650 and i hope you like this video if you have any doubts on this motorcycle do let me know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you out so as always show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye